Also tonight, Newport documents show how investigators tracked down a suspect in three arsons in Spokane's West Hills neighborhood. Crime 2's Shannon Mowdy has been digging through the court documents today to explain how witnesses helped crack this case. Yeah, the impacts of that fire are still visible. The roadway and this bike path stained pink with firefighting retardant. And just beyond the trees to my right, you can see the scorched earth. Vicki Smith was arrested Thursday morning in Tukwila. She now faces three arson charges after investigators say she admitted to starting the fires to get housing. New court documents show the case came together thanks to surveillance video, confessions by the accused arsonist, and witnesses who spoke up. Cindy Moralia had just gotten home after evacuating the August 3rd Sunset Highway fire. The arson investigator drove by and stopped when he saw me and said, would you please watch for anyone coming out of the golf course? We think that the arson suspect may be fleeing into this neighborhood. Within no time, Moralia heard something over her fence. It was a woman in the brush. Hiding. I said, what, what are you doing here? And, and she said, uh, uh, I'm smoking pot. Moralia called police and kept the woman from running away or going into neighbors' properties. During a 20 to 30 minute escort out of the area, Moralia says the woman told her a lot. Telling me about how discouraged she was about the services that she got. She got nothing to eat, nothing to drink. You know how the, all these programs for the homeless were terrible. They also talked about the fires. So I said, you know, I'm really, really upset about these fires. She goes, yeah, she goes, I'd be upset too if someone were setting fires by my house. Um, but I think she wanted to be heard. While being questioned about trespassing, officers say Vicki Smith repeatedly asked if she was going to be arrested for lighting fires, admitting to starting them to get housing. Officers say she told them there wouldn't be any more fires because it wasn't August 3rd anymore. Investigators later tied that reference to graffiti written downtown threatening to burn Spokane on August 3rd. Surveillance video from a nearby bank was matched to the recorded interview with Smith and photos taken by Cindy Moralia. Yeah, and she didn't mind. She smiled. I told her, you're going to be a suspect in an arson investigation. And she kind of smiled at me and let me take her pictures. Investigators were able to find Smith's email address from a previous investigation and contacted her. Through that conversation, they were able to track her to Tukwila and arrest her. Smith is still in a King County jail at last check on $75,000 bond, awaiting extradition back to Spokane County. Shannon Mowdy, Creme 2 News.